okay so let's continue with our next video in our aws series and in this video we will see the object encryption the amazon s3 so there is an article uh, in the official uh, documentation under the s3 that is the data encryption so we will like uh, cover this topic okay so we can encrypt uh, our objects object means like whatever the objects we are going to upload into your s3 bucket using various methods so what are the various methods so you could see there are two types of encryption one is the server side encryption one is the client side encryption server side encryption is so when you are going to upload any object the object is going to be encrypted when is when is going to store uh, at the server the client side encryption means even before uploading the object to the s3 bucket uh, you need to encrypt so you could see client side encryption means you encrypt your data client side and then upload the encrypted object to the s3 right but in the server side encryption amazon s3 encrypts your object before saving them to s like uh, the data to the disk so like while in transit so when you are uploading so the data is not encrypted but when it's going to store so before storing amazon uh, s3 is going to encrypt uh, based upon the method which you are going to provide so so broadly two two types of encryption server side and the client side right and in the server side uh, we have like a different option uh, like so one option is like a server side encryption which with s3 amazon s3 managed key so this is the default option all right so let's uh, go to the AWS console. Let's create a bucket. And let's create a demo S3 encrypt one. All right. So, and I am enabling the uh, versioning. Uh, so I will let you know uh, just in a couple of minutes why we are enabling the versioning. And you could see the encryption, even though if you are not going to select anything and you just click on the create bucket, the default encryption is enabled. See the default server side encryption is automatically applied for the new objects in the S3 bucket. So that's a default encryption. So whenever any encryption is going to be happen, the encryption should be based upon some key, right? So one option is like you can provide your own key, but like there are one option is server side encryption in the Amazon S3. So there is an SSC S3 option. So this key you don't have access. This is key provided by the Amazon. And Amazon is going to take care of that. Even you can't even see this key, right? Okay. The another option. So let's uh, uh, try with that. So server side encryption, uh, which is the first option. Server side encryption with the Amazon S3 uh, managed key, SSC S3, which we have seen. So click on it. Uh, bucket key. Uh, I am just going to tell you like what exactly, but bucket key, but like leave exactly leave for the time being uh, as it is. Okay. So enable it and then create a bucket. So what is the bucket name? Let me copy that, demo S3. So create bucket. Okay, so the bucket has been created and you could see. And then let's uh, try to upload something, add files. Let me go to the download and demo image. So I'm going to upload uh, something all right so, okay okay upload it so i have uploaded it right so and now if you go to the properties you could see the default encryption is server side encryption which we have selected all right so now the second option is we can encrypt our data using the KMS key. So we already covered the KMS uh, service where we have the two type of keys. Uh, one is the AWS managed keys, which is AWS slash something. And one is the customer managed key, which we have created that, right? The so second option is one option is like uh, this one. The second option is uh, uh, like uh, KMS key. So whatever exists in the KMS. So let's edit it. Right, so now server side encryption with so you can edit it as well. Like, right? so now if you are going to select the another key, what is going to happen uh, for the key which, like, uh, for the objects which already there? Right, so basically, the new version uh, 
should be going to credit so i i select like a, a, a amazon kms key okay so so amazon ams key like one is like i think aws so you can select your own key so i have the key demo key so let's create the changes save changes right okay now go to the objects click on it click on the versions i think uh, while uploading the object we need to do this just a second because we change uh, the property for the bucket and not for the object so let me go to the properties and let me edit it and let me enable the back to the server side description with the default changes that is s3 and now go to the objects click on the objects and if you go to the properties so you could see under the property we have the server side description for the particular object right and if i can edit this one and now i need to override bucket setting for default encryption so which what i want to use i want to use the kms all right so let me choose my kms key that is the demo key and now let me upload it so i have i have uploaded it right so now if you go to the version so the second version has been like uh, uh, created with the first version uh, with the old key the second version with the new key so if you click on it and so this the first version with the server side encryption go to the version and this is the current version and current version with the our like the kms key all right so now let's look at the third option that is the dual layer server side encryption so dual layer server side encryption means like hey this is also the kms key but it is going to be so if you are going to go to the major s3 click on it so you could see dual layer so in the dual layer you could see secure your object the two separate layer of encryption so first encryption and the second encryption right and then the third option option is specifying your own customer key that is the customer key now on the official documentation you could see this option but on the aws console we could see only three option then how this option is possible all right so if you click on it it has it has mentioned that this is not can be done using aws console as of now but if you want to do that you can run using rest api all right you you want to like upload your like a customer key using like a, sdk so as an example like the java code is uh, provided right so if you want to use this option that is the customer manage key customer key uh, customer provided key then you have to use that the last option is the client side encryption client side encryption is you have to encrypt your data all right uh, before uploading and then upload the data and then when you when you download from the s3 bucket then it is it is going to download it into the encrypted form then you have to decrypt at the client side only so that's it uh, that the end of the video we just want to show you what are the different option uh, which could be helpful uh, for the exam point of view uh, because they may ask okay what is the default one okay what is the dual one uh, how you are going to with the customer one what is the client side encryption one all right and we have seen like a very little uh, practical ex uh, example as well where where exactly the option is so that's it that's the end of the video and thank you